One leader at the Islamic Society of Greater OKC says he is saddened by the loss of life in Israel. News 9's Jordan Fremstead live tonight with how this conflict is affecting families thousands of miles away. Yeah, that's right, Carl. Dr. Ahmad Nchasi is the senior imam at the Islamic Society here in Oklahoma City, and he says he's concerned for his family overseas after that surprise attack on Israel. Inside this mosque, you'll find Dr. Imad Inchasi enjoying a book. If you're Jewish or Christian, I am your brother from a different mother. And leading the Islamic Society of Greater Oklahoma City. My mosque have um, about 72 ethnicity from 42 different countries. However, today Inchasi... Uh, yeah, that's my family. ...is worried. My family in Gaza is not even chatting because there's no internet. He's talking to his sister right now. Department of Education suspended all classes for tomorrow. Inchasi's family lives in Lebanon and Gaza. He says his sister is preparing for the worst. In anticipation of an Israeli strike on Lebanon. It's been two days since a surprise Hamas attack on Israel. Was I surprised? Um, not really. Inchasi says Palestine has been under 16 years of Israeli siege. They have no water, no electricity. Uh, perhaps they have lost the will to live. The conflict has killed hundreds of people so far, a statistic that pains in Chasi. The loss of life, innocent people's always a sad thing. It doesn't matter whose life it is. And Chasi says perspective matters. We have to look at the human aspect of what's happening. To a conflict that affects many different people. There is a power in prayers. Including those right down the street. Now, Nchasi says it will be difficult to get in touch with his family in Gaza because they don't have any electricity over there. However, he says he remains hopeful that they will make it out of this conflict. We're live in downtown Oklahoma City. Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.